Please rate, put your right hand in your left chest and let us recite the Pledge of Allegiance to the Christian flag. I pledge allegiance to the Christian flag and to the Savior for whose kingdom it stands. One Savior to fight, reason, and coming again, life and liberty to all who believe. The Pledge to the Bible. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide it in my heart so I will not sin against God. Please raise your right hand and let us recite our Pathfinder Pledge. The Pathfinder Pledge. By the grace of God, I will be pure and kind and true. I will keep the Pathfinder Law. I will be a servant to God and a friend to men. Please put your right hand on your left chest and let us recite our Pathfinder Law. Ready, begin. The Pathfinder Law is for me too. Keep the morning watch. Do my honest part. Care for my body. Keep a level eye. Be courteous and obedient. Walk softly in a sanctuary. Keep a song in my heart. Go on God's errands. Together, let us recite our Pathfinder motto. Ready, begin. For the love of Christ constraineth us. Together, let us recite our Pathfinder aim. By the, ready, ready begin, begin. By the grace of God, assure the Advent message to all the world in my generation. Mighties and Master Guide, parade, rest, pray our attention, move. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we bring back glory and honor, honor to your name this evening. Thank you so much, Father, for sustaining us and protecting us and bringing us here tonight to worship you and glorify your name. Thank you so much, Father, for sustaining us and helping us all throughout our Master Guide training. We face a lot of hardship, struggles, but we overcome it because of your help, Father. And tonight, as we are going to start our program, Father in Heaven, may it be that you will be in the midst of us and give us uh, knowledge and wisdom, Father in Heaven, as we are going to worship you this evening. And thank you so much, Lord, 
for hearing and answering our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Then, soon. Hello. Good evening and happy Sabbath, Church. Indeed, it is a wonderful celebration this evening, not only because we are celebrating the Lord's Day, but also we will, we will be witnessing the investiture ceremony of the aspirants of the Master Guides for the school year 2022 and 2023. Psalms 118 verse 24 says, This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. In behalf of our church pastor, Pastor Delfred Hintapanan, we would like to welcome everybody in our worship this morning, this evening and our investiture ceremony. We would like to welcome our guests and our visitors. Also in our midst, our three-star general from CPUC, Pastor Vonjan Sanchez. Thank you so much, Pastor, for coming. Also, later on, we will be, he will be introduced the second star general of the West Visayan Conference. We would like also to Congratulate in advance our aspirants this evening together with their, their sponsors who will be joining us and having their investiture ceremony this evening. We'd like also to extend our gratitude for the strong support of our administrators headed by Dr. Neda June Salazar and the rest of the administrators. Your presence this evening truly inspires and give a solemn commitment and dedication of our aspirants of this said investiture. And to our students, regular members of this church, we would like to welcome you in our church worship this evening. And let us all worship God in the spirit and in truth and give our undivided attention as we proceed with the sequence of our ceremony for this evening. In closing, I would like to read a passage in the book of Sepaniah, chapter 1, verse 7. It says, Be silent in the presence of the Lord God, for the day of the Lord is near. Indeed, the Lord has prepared a sacrifice. He has consecrated His guests. May God's blessing be upon us as we proceed with this ceremony.
He is my light, my strength, my song, this cornerstone, this solid ground, firm through the fiercest drought and storm. What heights of love, what depths of peace, when fears are still, and when striving cease. My comfort, my all in all, here in the love of Christ I stand.
before the presence of the Lord and before the presence of the church. I am happy to present to you the remnant and survivors of the COVID-19 Master Guide trainees. They had survived the online class for two years. However, the online class was not enough to assess their skills. That is why we have waited for two years and more. And this master guide in trainees are enduring all aspects of struggles. They had endured emotional, physical, mental, and social struggles just to become the leaders of the church. And now, as a director of the Master Guide Club, together with my co-director from the School of Education, Master Guide Levin Bernardido, we will be presenting before God and before His Church these trainees to our Master Guide Director from Central Philippine Union Conference, our Youth Director, Master Guide Vonjan Sanchez. Sasset. Ready. Up. Master Guide. Pastor Bonjan Sanchez, it is my honor to present to you 29 ladies, 10 gentlemen who have satisfactorily complied the requirements. Sir! Yeah. I'm happy to present to you 39 Master Guide trainees from the School of Theology. Who are now ready for investiture, sir? By the authority of the Seventh day Adventist Church vested upon me, and being the head of the master guides of all. Our Master Guides in Central Philippine Union Conference. I, as the Youth Director of this conference, would like to accept the 78 candidates for Master Guide as officially be accepted in the family and in the rank of the Master Guide in the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Congratulations to the 78. You are now declared as members of the family of the Master Guide throughout the world. Welcome to the family newly invested Master Guides. And we have come to this moment where we are going to receive your pin and your Master Guide neckerchief and the rest of your Master Guide things. So as I'm going to call on your name, please come here with your Master Guide sponsors for pinning. Abuluk Luigi, Akitar Reynald, Aribado Jordan, Bayo Nasiforo, Kalyao Kurt. 
Abong Rochelle, Abrigoso Rodilin, Alfornon Joan, Aliporo Lara Jane. with your Master Guide sponsor. Francis de la Cruz Jeo, de la Torre Esmeraldo, Descartes Michael, es, Espina, Espinasi Richard, Estroche Marlo, Alvarez Janela, Amparado Jalime, Apolinario Angelica, Bahita Alfi, Kalinawan Loida. Jr. He happened Richard Holgin Joshua Innocencio Rinaldo Casi Carpio Diana May Casina Maylin De La Paz Kishalai Denso Shaina May Espanola Richelle Those 
also don't have their master guide sponsors, the directors here in sta stage are happy to serve you. Ibisati Roland June, Haos Rafi, Jimenez Dino, Lambot Eliseo, Libuon Brian, Libuon Mervin, Gabasa Jessa, Garzon Charmaine, Go Rani, Ju Conso, and Juanico Johanes.
Mamburao Arnold, Midiana Jean, Motiong Francisco, Isa Kani, Juliano Disery, Luato, Luaton Christine, Luzada Sheila May, Mabulay Mary Ann, Maido Glacial. Jeff Jasfilin, Pinida Biberlin, Porado April Joy, Ranon Kim Jerda, and Royalo Shermi. Jang Ho Yin, Arkeo Joseph, Pagia Alvin, Rojas Mervin, and Salavaria Aldren.
Riza May, Tabasin Rizel J, Villaros Clariza, Satembre Izil, Zamora Fevi, and Ripolidon Made in Hope. Pasip Jean Jasper, Tolentino John Ray, Vargas Helmar. The last group who will receive their pins are the officers of the Master Guide class. Bernardo Aldrin, Yurauba Patricia, Jorfo Manilin, Tonido Manilin. Barbahano James, Bautista Rustan, Dagohoy Jazzer, Flores Adrian, Rolio Edwin, Shago Janver, and Subika Janelle.
Congrats. Congratulations, Master Guides. At this point of time, I would like to recognize Ten people, ten master guides who have submitted their passport first. The first ten who have submitted their passports will receive the Excellence Award. The f I will start from ten to one. This time, our directors will be the one who will pin, who will give the pin. Kunzu Ju. From Vietnam. Rinaldo Akitar Mylen Casinas Rodilin Abriguzo Angelica Apolinario Joshua Holgen Sheila May Lozada Isel Setembre These two, the last two are not just the first in passports but chosen by the Master Guide as the best Master Guide of the year From the ladies, we have Elfi Baheta And gentlemen, Nemrod Aala. Elfi Bahita was the first master guide who performed 45 knots our knot tying skills. Again, congratulations all Master Guides.
my test. speaker hails from Barangay Pasi, Igbaras, Iloilo, and spent most of his childhood years in his hometown. He is the third among four siblings, and he finished his secondary education at West Visayan Academy in the year 2004. He earned his degree in theology in the year 2009 at our very own Central Philippine Adventist College. From 2009 up to 2014, he served as a layman in the following places. Negros Occidental, Aklan, Gimaras, and Capiz. Because of his faithfulness in service, he was called to be a district leader in the year 2015 at Western Capiz, comprising the towns of Mambusao and Hamindan. The following year, he served in the Eastern Capiz 1 from 2016 up to 2018. Then from 2019 up to 2021, he served the Northern, Northern Capiz, comprising the city of Bruja City and the town of Ivisan. He married the former Miss Belge Limbago, from Cebu City, and now serving as English teacher at Adventist Academy Iloilo. Just this year, he was called to serve the Youth Department of West Visayan Conference. Brothers and sisters, Master Guides, our speaker tonight is Master Guide Pastor Oliver Isler. Let us give him our undivided attention. Carry on. Thank you. You may not take your seats. 
I am humbled to stand in front of you this evening, students, my dear teachers, and uh, you, master guides. Daw hindi ko ka dumdum kung ano gid ang insyakto nga pizza ang katapusan ko nga tindog diri. But what I could remember was that probably makabal ako sa inyo sining kagabihon that this is my third time even during halin sang akon college years sa pagtindog diri nga palpet only three times once when i was tasked to be a chorister under our subject kag sa leadership ni Ma'am Toledo sa Amon Christian Music. Second was uh, when I was chosen to be a midweek uh, speaker also. And then I left this campus working under the guidance of our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm so happy to stand in front of you this evening. And again, um, I am really humbled to know that I am surrounded with a student nga paangay man sa akon, kapariyo man sa akon before. And also, with my uh, teachers for siguro dalawig-lawig na gig because I graduated here 2009 pa. But allow me to speak because our time will not permit us to stay long since we have to prepare ourselves for tomorrow also. This message will be addressed to our master guides and to all of you who are who can still li listen and can hear the words from the Bible. And I want you to feel and to know that your purpose, that your coming here is not by chance. Bisan maghambal pa kamo, nga nagkadto kamo diri, because ginsponsoran lang kamo, or probably you could say, nga ari kamo diri, bangod kay nahagaran lang kamo sa inyo mga classmates, o kon you would say, nga nag-abot lang kamo diri sa Central Philippine Adventist College, bangod kay wala nagid sang ibang nga school nga magbaton sa inyo. I don't want to share anything, but I'd rather chose, choose to share you my stories. Umpisa nga nag-abot ko sa CPAC, wala ko pagid mawali ang istorya ko and I believe nga ang purpose ang ginoo nga ginpatapos niya ko sa Central Philippine Adventist College sad to know and sad to say nga daw wala gid ko opportunity nga magmarcha sa atubangan pariyo sa inyo because I could still recall that during the time of uh, Pastor Bonjan kun sa iya pa ni nga chimpo basta madumduman ko si Pastor Carlos nga ako yan invest as master guide dito na yan sa NOC upod ang aton mga teachers naton from different schools kay uh, naglayman ako that time sa Ilog no amutong na batian kay na I, I even work here in Negros Occidental we were raised by our parents with a children of four. Gagmay pa kami. Allow me to speak in vernacular kay mas gusto ko nga mag-express. Hinaot-unta nga kining atong mga kahigalahan nga mga bisaya makasabot lang sad. Magkasinabta na irata. Gagmay kami. We are not Seventh-day Adventists by birth. To tell you, I did not even experience to study in our elementary school. That's why when my father attended my graduation here in CPAC, hulat-hulat man siya nga masaka sa stage to give me bisan award na lang kung ano dira nga siya ang magpin sa akon o magbutang sa akon. Sila niya, tiwala gid. Bako tiwala gid eh. Kay bisan loyalty award, I did not even have the chance to receive such uh, nga award mga students. Nagasakay ko sa likod sa karabaw, sa elementary ko, magpauli sa balay, 
pagabot sa balay, sinanay sa udto, kundi kita nga mga bata during the time, kung gagmay pa ta, pagabot sa balay, ang aton iloy patulugon man ta. As you could still recall. Ang aton mga nanay o tatay, di gina sila ganahan, nga di ta magtulog kung udto. Sinanay ko na matulog ko, hingutuan ko ni nanay, kuhaan ko sang kuto, you know, ang ako nanay makibot, kaya ang makuha niya nga kuto sa ako, hindi naman kuto sang tao, kay kuto na sang karabaw. Puerti gid ka pobre, pigado gid ka tamang panginabuhi, my dear students. But still, because of God's grace, worse sa tanan nga experience, ganagihan namon, when my, our eldest brother, ang first gid sa amon nga magululutod, was sent home together with his teacher and his classmates because gin fever siya sa school and he collapsed. Kag nadulaan sang panguna-huna, gin dulong sa balay. What you will do if you live there in the upper portion of that mountain? Anong pinaka-option mo? You have nothing to do but to seek for something that could heal your child. And that's the problem and that's the best, probably the best thing that my parents could do. And so they, they seek for these, uh, you know, mga faith healers. You know what is faith healers? Mga babaylan. They seek for uh, mga uh, other than uh, medico, okay, medico. And uh, they told my mother and my father, nga siling nila, ang imo bata was possessed by, you know, evil spirit. And he was even claimed by, you know, you know, mga ilunggo, kabalo sini, kama-kama. You know, what is kama-kama? The wind, they, they told us. And so what we did, every, you know, every year or twice a year, we had to look for this black pig, itong nga baboy. Itong nga baboy. Kaya amuning amun gina-offer. Para lang gid ang akon brother Mayo. And during these years sang Amon pagantos, you know the worst, you know very worst scenario sang Amon family. Uli lang namo na hibalan actually nga ang Amon brother is an epileptic. He has that epilepsy. Nagaataki sa iyang epilepsy not once a month, not even once every two months, not even twice a year. My brother, ginaataki siya sang epilepsy thrice a day. Try to imagine. Very severe. You know, makurog siya, magitom ang bibig, nagatulo ang laway, nagaturong ang mata. He's even, we could say, useless. Wala nagigamit. And during this time, students, the best thing that my father could do is, you know, even to bring him to mga santos-santos, mga santos, you know, mga ribulto that perform miracles. Amunin gina mo sang father ko. But my mother could not forget when one of these faith healers naghambal sa iya. Manya simple lang gina imuhin mo on. Kaya ang imo bata, our eldest brother, our elder brother, siling niya, hindi pa man siya maayo, you have to wait for him to reach 30 years old because he will soon to be a faith healer too. Mahimo man siya nga manugbulong. What you will do is to look for a church and bring him inside the church and to pray for him. Probably the church could do something for him. Nga maayo siya. My brother was just, you know, 8 or 9 years old at the time until he reached 16 years old. Try to imagine. This sickness attacks my brother from 8 years old until he reached 16 years old. And one time, kayang amon panginabuhian, kining babuyan man, dili man may Adventist, magbuhi man may baboy, kining akong inahan or my mother would have to bring this pig to the nearby barangay kay mangita mi og lalaki nga baboy para ang kining nga baboy malahian siya or we could reproduce them and we could sell them because this is just a source of our income. With him is my eldest brother and me. We crossed that river opposite to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. Nag-cross mi sa sapa, labang mi sa sapa, and we reached 
the uh, opposite sang Santong Amon Balay, and the Church of the Seven Day Adventists is there. And you know, I'm just so happy that the brethren or Seven Day Adventist Church, uh, our Seven Seven Day Adventist friends in that place, very good sila puerti ka devoted. That what they will do, they have to go to church early that Wednesday. So, siguro mga, mga, mga 5 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon because they have no electricity during the time, these brethren would have to go to the church and to do this uh, midweek uh, prayer meeting. And so when my mother passed through the church, she recalled what this faith healer told her. And, hamba ni nanay ko, nga hindi ko man pag itry. So, ginkuha niya ang baboy ginhigot niya sa kudal sa simbahan sang adventista sa kural ginhigot niya sa kural nagsulod sa church og ni simba ang akong inahan he or she did not know that the layman in that church is just observing her and when we were able to send that pig to the owner sa tong lalaki nga baboy we went home. The next day, the layman came. And this layman told us, Sister Nining, that's what she addressed to my mother, we will have a Bible study. Ang akong inahan, si nanay ko, wala man siya ibang option, huhuo na lang. Because they are longing for the healing of my brother. And so it was, the next day, after, balik naman ang layman, Bible study, Bible study. But anong ginahimo sang papa ko, sang akon father, every time na schedule sang layman to give this Bible study, ang akon papa, mag-schedule po doon, inom. So what happened? After inom sang akon tatay, pag-abot na sang layman, mag-Bible study sa amon, nagawali ang layman, nagawali man si tatay. Ang bali tatay ko, Adventista, May Diyos kamu, may Diyos man kami. But you know, probably this is, you know, God's option for us to know God, for, for us to know Him. The layman came sa schedule, ah, sa tion nga hindi schedule sa Bible study. Ang layman nagbalik sa balay sa panahon nga ang akong tatay hindi hubog. Because, hindi to schedule sang Bible study. And when, you know, sometimes nag Bible study sila dito sa sulod, sang, 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 sa piyak na portion, sang amon nga balay, si nanay ko magsiling, ara da siya sa sulod. Kay ang father ko, kun hindi mahubog, kun, may, kun hubog siya, wala huya. Sorry to say, pero amon yung insyakto. Pero kun hindi hubog, puwerte ang huya. Hindi siya magwa sa kwarto, hindi na siya magawa sa kwarto, she, he, he even chose to stay. And siguro mga tatlo or apat palang katapik sa Bible study. And we, they did not even reach the topic about, you know, uh, cigarette smoking, drinking of liquors, gambling. But the layman said, okay, uh, Sister Nining, knowing that the, my father was inside the, the room, hambal sang akon nga, sang layman, sinya, Sister Nining, our Bible study today is all about Inom, sigarilyo, kag-iban nga bisyo. But, you know, they did not even reach that uh, certain topic yet. Because, layo-layo pa na sa dak- doctrine naton. Samta nag Bible study ang layman, si tatay ko hindi kagwa, ara to sa kwarto nagapamati. And when the layman left, kag naglakat, ang akon father na absorb niya tanan nga doctrine nga nabatian niya from the Bible. To cut short, sang istorya. Ang akon tatay, wala man gid nakagraduate sa, sa high school. Even college, wala gid ka graduate high school. Elementary graduate lang ang ko. Kung elementary graduate ka mo, my dear master guides, mind you this, you are very privileged tonight. You are re- really blessed. Elementary graduate ang akon tatay. Ang iya trabaho is just to spray sang manga, paho. Ako ng mga teachers, why ginis la kabalo sang akon background. Nagapang spray sang manga ang akon tatay for us to live and to survive. But, while nagapakadto pa lang siya sang punuan, sang manga, para mag-spray upod sang iya barkada, may ara siya 
isa kakahanga si Garilio. This is a true testimony that I want you to hear. Ang tatay ko is a chain smoker. Hambal niya, bahala na wala breakfast, wala pa ni Udto, wala pa ni Apon, may kapilang kag may sigarilyo, goods na. So ang papa ko mayara isa kapakete nga sigarilyo. What he did, he covered that cigarette sang iya extra nga bayo. Because ang gusto sang tatay ko, right after sang spray nila sang manga, masigarilyo siya. What happened is this. He told himself, if that Bible verse referring to 2 Timothy, and if that words coming from that layman is true, kontinuod mang yun to, kineng isa ko kakaha nga sigarilyo, mawala ni, madula ni. And so, giputos niya sa iyang sanina, sa iyang panapton, iyang bayo, ginsangit niya, and nagspray sila sang manga. After nagspray sila sang manga, malan sila, ang akon papa, nagkanto dito sa punuan sa kahoy, nga gisangit niya, ang iyang isa kakaha nga sigarilyo, gikuha niya, kay ganahan man siya manigarilyo after siya ng hugas, pagkuha niya sa iyang sanina, naamang yun ang iyang sanina, arap ang iyang bayo, but when he opened his clothes, his clothes nga nasangat dito, he was amazed. Nga sa pagbukas ng akong tatay, ang isa kakahas ng sigarilyo, nadula. That was the first time. Ang akong papa, luwas nga farmer, he is also a carpenter. Kung chain smoker ka, kag carpenter, kag panday ka, ang piyak mo nga dulunggan, on sa gani? Eh, you know, sino diri ang bata sang panday? Anong ginasangit diri? Lapis. Tama. Kung pala sigarilyo ka, anong sapikas? Sigarilyo. And this is the life of my father. And he challenged again the Lord. Nagkanto siya sa sapa para maligo. Hambal sang akon, father, again. You know, that time, he was not even converted with that first, you know, nga uh, natabo sa iyaha. So he challenged again the Lord. Again, if it's really true, because you know, the, the first experience he had, actually, nagpalanigbos to iya, balahibo. And he even, you know, ginawa niyang iya mga upod, basi ginsaskuhan lang siya, or gintago to, or basi nahulog lang sila nagpulot. But you know, wala gito sila ma-reconcile. It's because, ang sigari, wala gito nila nakita. Even their friends, his friends, keep on telling him nga wala kami ya and they, they even helping him him to you know to look for that cigarette but one time the second time around ang akong father nagkanto sa sapa para magpaligo kay bukid bay kami pagabot niya dito sa sapa he whispered another challenge again he said if that experience is really true and what the seventh day adventist told me and I have learned and heard from the Seventh-day Adventist, if that's really true, again, this cigarette will gone. Gibutang niya sa ita sa sakbato, gibutang niya iyang sanina, ang sabon, gikuha ang kabo, naligo. While naligo ang akong father, mauna ingo nila nga, about kinsa ba ninyo nakasulay nga mag-watch and pray? One time, Nagpray ko sa Gipuses. Tulo niya kaanak, mura Gipuses. Kaya kining usa mangawat man og tights. Ang lalaki nga anak mangawat og tights, idula niya og computer. Ang usa ang duha ka babayi, Gipuses. Nga pagabot nako, na nagigdahigda ang bata nga babayi. Hambal ko wala na siya nagatulog actually. Manya pastor nag problema gid ko. And bako dali lang kay kuwaon ko ang uh, ang olive oil kay i-anointa siya. We will pray. Hambal sang isa ka elder. Pastor dayaon man ka. Hamba ko nga aman elder. Nya na apply ko gid ang watch and pray. Bako nga aman. Nya kay ikaw nagpray ka katong isa ka bata nga wala man siya gin possess katong mga watra man og tights. Nya katong usa ka elder mutadlong man sad sa atin niya nga wala man puntok ayo gi possess. Ako gid ang imong gibutang dito sa gi possess. Nya ti pastor Ingon siya, nagapray lang ka pero nagawatch, pero nagapray. Watch and pray. Nya kay basi anytime atakihon ko niya. Watch and pray. So ang akong father mao ni. 
Sabunan niya ang iyang pikas mata, ang piyak niya nga mata, sabunan niya, ang piyak open, just to make sure nga ang sigarilyo di gid mawala. Sabunan ang pikas, ang piyak na pod open, bantayan ang sigarilyo nga hindi mawala. But one time, nagabot sa panahon, banya wa, wala man, wala man ginadula tong sigarilyo. But when he changed his clothes, kagang iyang ulo ni gawas diri sa collar sa iyang t-shirt. Whether you believe it or not, my father was amazed when he saw nga ang, sig- ang sigarilyo nga usa ka stick nawala for the second time around. And yet, he was not even convinced. He kept on telling himself that there's no God. And one time, kining akong amahan kay Bertoldo Mangyud Kaayo, pag-abot sa balay, di naman yun siya mauli, kay Maruman kayong layman. Kay mo balik ang layman, dili sa, sa schedule sa Bible study. So maro gining ako nga man ingon sa ade na ko mauli oy bahala na mauli ko ini alas 12 na basta sigurado wala nang layman kay di man siya gusto mag-adventist. When she reached when he reached home one time ang mga Seventh-day Adventist dito na nag-worship sa balay. Ang akong amahan hubog that night. I could still recall. It was month of October. Nga severe ang attack sa akong brother sa yang epilepsy. Nga di namin niya i-recognize Muambak na siya sa bintana because kining mga babaylan mang gyud magsige naman og trabaho-trabaho kabantay mo nga ang babaylan mukuha og iyang kutsilyo nga himo siguro na sa saway iyan ang bagting-bagtingon tapos iyan ang idunggab dito sa balas pagdunggab niya sa balas kay ang kuhaon nanay pasayan nga luto and this is it this is what happening iyang tong gibutang sa kawayan gibutang niya dito sa atupan sa mong balay. And, you know, every night ang among brother demon possess na. So, these Seventh-day Adventists should, you know, visit us and to conduct this family worship. Tudluan minyag kanta. One time, one morning, at 3 a.m., ang akong amahan, ang akong father, naka, you know, nakamata siya, nakabugtaw siya. And, sige siya hilak. Grabe ang hilak sa akong amahan. Sige siya, hilak na hilak na hilak. Hibi siya, hibi. Grabe iya, hibi. And my mother asked him, unsa man gyud ang akong buhaton aron matabangan tika? May problem ka? Unsa man imong problema? And so my father would say, "No, I have no problem. But I just want to cry. I just want to cry." Gusto lang gyud siya maghibi. So ang akong mother ni asked, "Unsa man gyud ang imong gusto para ma Uli na ka. Ano man ang imo gusto para nga maayo naman ka hindi nakamuhilak, hindi nakamagibi. And my father would request my mother, please sing to me the song that the Seventh Day Adventist is singing. And so my mother has to open this balaan nga kalantahon, sungbuk, and she had to sing this 111 sewing in the morning. When my mother started singing, Sowing in the morning, Sowing seeds of kindness, Ang luha sa akong amahan, Maupod ang pangahulog, Ang pagahulog sang luha sa akong tatay. When, you know, sunrise came, Pagbutlak sang adlaw, My father asked a favor from my mother, Tomorrow, Buasgid, you have to request that layman tawga ang tanan nga kabataan referring to us because you including these children including ako we will start again reviewing that Bible study nga ginhimo sa tunga layman. And so the layman came and conducted that Bible study from that day forward. And I want to tell you this. December 24, 1995. Happily telling you this. December 24, pag-aaga Paskwa gito. The same river we crossed, nga nami baboy, nga katubad ng baboy, nga giguroy-guroy sa akong inahan, maupo nga sa pa. Ang akong tatay, ang akong nanay, ang among eldest brother, ang akong igsuon nga babay, ako o ang akong igagaw, ang akong pakaisa, gibaptize me, and we accepted Jesus as our personal Lord and Savior. You know, one thing that I want to 
let you know. That day forward, umpisa man sa tungo adlaw, ang akon brother na ayo tub-tub subong, wala na siya nakatilaw even once nga ginatake sang iya epilepsy. You know what is miracle? Ano ang miraculous sa tungo? Ulihi man lang kami kabalo ng epilepsy to gali. Kay hambal nila, ang akon ko no brother, ginasunod man sang diwende, sang kamakam. Ula man kami kaintindi ko nung epilepsy. That, that severe attack, gindala na mo ng amon brother sa hospital, and dito nakitaan, ng epileptic na ang akon brother, severe epilepsy, until ginresitahan siya, ginpatulog siya for two days, pagmata sang akon brother, until karon students, ang akon brother na ayo. I want to leave you a certain text, and this is very common. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. My life is the testimony. Only we know, nga sang nag-adventist na me, nga naman nga si father ko, nga naman nga si father ko, one time nagmata sa buntag, o nagsigig hilak, nagsigig hibi, Ulihi lang na mo nahibalan that the members of the Seventh-day Adventist Church dito sa among lugar, nagsigi namang di ay midnight prayer. Whole family, all families sa Seventh-day Adventist, nagsigi naman sila midnight prayer for my father because that time my mother is also, you know, she is deciding, she is also decided to be baptized as a Seventh-day Adventist. Pero ang akong inahan na ingon man nga, di gig ko mag-Adventista, not until ang akong ba na di na ako madala. I want to challenge you, dear Master Guides, dear students, Whatever you ask from God, bring it in prayer. Because if you have to ask me today, unsa man ta kalayo sa Dios? Unsa man gyud ta kalayo sa Dios? That's between our knees in the floor. Whenever this knees, whenever our knees will touch this floor, my dear brethren, we will reach the throne of God. And God is right there ready to answer all our prayers. Three things I don't want you to forget. Make use of the letter C's of your life because of your, your existence is just between letter B and letter D. Letter B and letter D. Kinsa may idea ninyo? Buha ito mong simenteryo, duha lang yung nadiha kapitsa ang nadiha. Duha lang yung nadiha kapitsa ang aras sa simenteryo. Your birthday and your death. Your life is between letter B and letter D. That's the day you are you born and the day you die. Wala na. After all, wala na. Di na taka break sa record ni Mitosila ng mo idad patag 969. Di na taka break sa record ni Adam ng mo idad patag 900 pilagani is Adam. Huh? 930. Di na taka break sa record ni Noah 950. Di na taka break sa record. We must make use of the letter C's of our lives. That's between B and D. Your choice. Mark this one. Be careful of your choice. That's first letter C. Make use of letter C. That's the second one. Chance. And grab if there is possibility for you to change. Choice chance and be ready for a change. I know many of you have struggles. Ako ni Abot Kudri sa CPAC, nothing. I am just a sponsored student. Giasign ko sa different field as layman for almost seven years. Hoping nothing. But I believe, thinking that God has something for me in the future. And here I am, standing in front of you. A testimony how God graced me and how God designed my life because I want to tell you again and again, I am a product of prayer. Make use of this letter C's of your life and you will enjoy what lies ahead of you. Make use of your choices. Grab every chances and be ready for a change. For we know that all things work together for good to them that love God and to those who are called according to his purpose. Master Guides, congratulations. And brethren, happy Sabbath and good evening.
on behalf of the batch uh, Alacritus, here am I standing as the elected treasurer, together with me, our president, master guide, Nemo Daala. And we'd like to give you the certificate of appreciation and token of remembrance. Central Philippine Adventist College, Alegria Morsha, Negros Occidental, Certificate of Appreciation is presented to Master Guide Oliver E. Esler for sharing his invaluable insights and expertise during the 22 Master Guide and Investiture Ceremony with the theme Rekindal, held on December 2, 2022 at Central Philippine Adventist College Church, Alegria Morsha Negros Occidental, Philippines, given the second day of December 2022. Signed by Master Guide Rual El Sabote, Student Director of Master Guide Club. Master Guide Rafael J. Carado, Administrative Director of MGC PAC Club. Master Guide Delbert Hintapanan, Church Pastor of CPAC Church. Master Guide Elden S. Torado, Vice President of Student Administration and signed by Dr. Neda June D. Salazar, College President of CPAC. And may you feel the warm and embrace of Batch Alactitus as you receive this token of remembrance.
down. Go down. I am requesting the newly invited uh, or invested uh, master guide to please kneel and also the entourage here uh, to kneel as we pray and our congregation please uh, just bow down your heads as we have this dedication, uh, dedicatory prayer please. Our Father in heaven, our great creator and recreator, the great master guide of all the master guides, O oh Lord. We come before you this evening, foremost to give you glory, honor, praise, and thanksgiving, worship, and adoration, because accolade belong, belongs to you, O oh Lord, since it's thou art our God and our Savior. Father in heaven, you have noticed and see the preparation of these young people. Their struggles, O oh Lord, how they achieve this status right now. This but just, Lord, the, not the, the end, but the means, Father in heaven, in order for this church to move forward and fulfill her mission. The very reason, Father in heaven, why they are invested as master guides, O oh Lord, is due to the very fact that they exist for mission. The purpose, O oh Lord, for these young people is to be a positive influence to the people around them that the people who have not yet known the truth about your love, about your character will understand, realize and see Lord how beautiful thou art how great thou art and so tonight Father in heaven the church, the leaders of this church, we are dedicating them to you, Lord. That made the presence of the Holy Spirit, the influence of the Holy Spirit may rest upon them, Father in heaven, to bless them, to guide them, O Lord, to help them in their walk, especially, Father in heaven, to help them in fulfilling the mission that you have given them. I pray, Father in heaven, for the sweet influence of the Holy Spirit to rest upon their lives so that their talents, their gifts, will be used, Lord, for the spreading of the good news. Be with them, beginning today, Father in heaven, and bless them, O Lord, so that they will be a powerful witness for your glory and for your honor. We dedicate them to you, Lord, tonight. In the blessed name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Amen.
Alacritus 2022, welcome to the world of the Master Guides. Being a Master Guide grants you a great responsibility more than a status. Yours is to develop Christ-like leaders, to disciple children, youth, and young adults for a sacred commission. Yours is to empower future leaders through effective training, equipping, and developing them for service. You have undergone rigorous training, sharpening your skills, which are specifically geared to leading youth in God-ordained areas of development, understanding God's worlds of nature, outreach ministry, service to others, and lifestyle that denotes healthy living. As it has been said, you can't teach what you don't know, and you can't lead where you won't go. As master guides, you must not only be good at spouting on theories. If you expect to see success in your youth ministry, you must demonstrate what you preach and live for it. And remember, God will hold you accountable to the souls that are lost because of your wrong teaching, example, and influence. So then, live up with a master guide vision to see all young people saved by His grace. I now solemnly charge you in the presence of God who will someday judge the living and the dead when he comes to set up his kingdom. Preach the word. Be prepared, whether the time is favorable or not. Patiently correct, rebuke, and encourage your people with good example and teaching. For a time is coming when people will no longer listen to sound and wholesome teachings. They will follow their own desires and will look for teachers who will tell them whatever their itching ears wanting to hear. They will reject the truth and chase after myth. But you should keep a clear mind in every situation. Don't be afraid of suffering for the Lord. Work at telling others the good news and fully carry out the ministry God has bestowed upon you. Finally, be an example to those around you and to the world, reflecting the similitude of Christ, our leader who came to serve and not to be served. I charge you to be pure, be kind, and true in all of your dealings. An epitome of a true servant leader, Christ, to whom you are to emulate. Always give your best in whatever capacity you may have to offer, not because it's your duty and responsibility to do so, but rather serve because of your love and the service of the Lord. As Paul said, so that you may serve worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to Him, bearing fruit in every good work and growing in the knowledge of God. May you remain faithful in the service until we shall behold with our eyes the guide of all the master guides, Christ, who will tell us, Thou good and faithful servant, enter thou into the joy of the Lord. The Lord will bless you.
inviting everyone to please stand. Let us sing the Master Guide theme song, Onward to Battle. But with His love and His holy word, we will shout His glory in one accord. Moving forward, we'll march for the Lord, invested in trend and equipped with His word. And with His leading, we'll finish the work of the gospel and change the world. Send to the heavens fall. We will serve the Lord and be a friend to man. We will serve Him till the end. We are called from darkness unto light. We are chosen to be His hands to guide all the nations, people, and tongues and tribes. For we are called the chosen must abide. We go forward in Jesus' name. All these bridges we will proclaim, serving the people and leading the way. And together we march to the glorious day. Once a master guide, always a master guide. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, as we come to close this investiture ceremony, we would like to thank you for your presence and for what has been transpired tonight. May the matters presented will serve as the catalyst to move your church forward. And may all those things that has been said will bring glory and honor to your holy name. And as the Holy Spirit leads, let every master guide continue to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Because our time is, or will not permit anymore, we will skip the decisional. Thank you and congratulations. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. We will proceed now to our picture taking.